Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a short video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics showing how you can stream videos, music, and photos from your Ubuntu computer over your home network to your Android phone. And there are two small programs, both free. The one on the Ubuntu computer is called R-Y-G-E-L and you can download that. You'll have to go online. It's an app to get installation in the terminal and it also runs in the terminal and I've got it running right now and it discovers three of your folders and the first one here is home user videos, home user music, home user photos and you do not have to do anything about share. This is not a two-way connection. You cannot send stuff from your phone to your Ubuntu computer. Your Ubuntu computer has to be on but the screen could be off and you don't have to do anything with it. You're just accessing these three folders. And if you look on the phone I have got in the red, the one at the bottom, it shows what's on my computer. And I'm going to tap that and when I do it's going to open up uh, music, pictures, and videos. I'll hit videos and I've, I'll just say all. It breaks it up by year and I see a few movies here, a considerable number of them and I'm going to just find one real quick and I'm going to play it. Uh, this is a favorite one of mine. It's in the public domain. This is by Joseph Havlik, a guy from Czechoslovakia who compiled all of the flight simulator programs which have ever been and he made a half hour movie of it. It's on uh, YouTube and I've got th this movie running in portrait but if I tilt the phone it goes into landscape. I'm using MX player and it starts off with the very beginnings of flight simulation. MX Player allows you to quickly go to any place on the uh, film you want to. I've got to grab hold of it. I can't grab hold of it while holding my camera. It's hard to see. There we go. And there is no time lag. It's quite instantaneous. You can watch Hollywood movies. You can listen to all of your music and you can look at your entire photo album. And as I say, it works only across your home network. It does not, uh, you can't go to another state and use this method. Uh, I recommend this program very much and uh, I'm impressed by it. There are a whole bunch of other ways in order to access the files on your computer. But this is the simplest one that I've ever seen. My name is Pop and I thank you very much for watching.